I started at um, then United Motors, 1987, and um, I continued until retirement at on twenty at twenty ten. Okay. Position held longest and up till retirement were warehouse supervisor and stores controller. General functions and areas of responsibilities. Right. You know. So your first question would be, how was operations, how was the operations changed since you started out? Yes, yes. We'd like to hear more of that you know, because the other yeah. day I was I was telling someone that 20 years ago, just 20 years ago, we used um, paper manuals. Yes. Right? Um, yeah. Pa- so we'd have to, yeah. And it's usually like five, six of us fighting over yes. the one manual right? yes, to serve to serve one customer. You get what indeed. I'm saying? I know everything is, is a click of a button. You can't even use your phone now to research parts. So exactly. I want to tell everyone now how difficult it was back then when you only had paper manuals and no computers. Oh my gosh, man. It, 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 let me tell you something. It was very difficult because it was so easy to overlook vital situations and parts and then end up, you know, Having, having I, I, that's why the stock control at the time never seemed to be right. Yes, you understand. It, mm-hmm. it, 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 you couldn't you couldn't really give a good reflection of what the stock was. You see, and then um, having to use paper um, paper for everything, pen and paper, count here and put there and. You know, you just could never be accurate. It was, it was very difficult. Yes. Although we gradually made some technical changes along the way, mm-hmm. which to, 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 to sort of improve up things for ourselves. Yes. And as, as a result of that, it did very well in terms of development at that time. Yeah. You know, so that was all. That was how the operations really started out. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it was never easy because, as you said, we had to use a cardex. Yes. Had to. <laughs> but I have to tell you something. I, <laughs> <laughs> I know, man, I, I jog in yeah. your memory now. I know that <laughs> it's all these happy memories because yes. those were the challenges you had at the time. Very much, very much, very challenging. Yeah. Very challenging. Yeah, man. Go, go ahead with the Cardex. Let, let, let them understand exactly what the Cardex was. Yeah. The Cardex was a, a, a very technical situation because, for one, you had to look very carefully at the Cardex, the way it was situated. Mm-hmm. Sometimes sometime what you think you see on the Cardex is not really what is there. Yes. You have to look very closely. You remember the, the little one that was on top of the bin? Mm-hmm. Where Shreves and um, Swaby and them man used to fight over. Yes. Then you had one for the high enough. Yes, yes, yes. I remember, yeah. And I'm telling you, it, it was it was a it was a real battle. Yes, because Swaby you know, and Shreves at the time, those were the two guys who specialized in high enough. I know, yeah. Well, we, pr- we, we pronounce it he we pronounce it he know in the States, but I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, and um Basically, when we wanted the you know, really mastered the you know, thing apart from Swabia and Shreves, you know. yes. I think you were one who, who, who kind of broke the, 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 the seal where that is concerned. Well, yeah, I wanted to learn. I had to learn it yes. because yes. if Swabia and Shreves weren't around, um, we couldn't have the customer there waiting. Exactly. But Shreves, boy, I tell you something. <laughs> you don't, you can't ask Shreves for an item more than once. Yes, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a special personality. <laughs> yeah, special personality. Very, very, very good person though to work with. He, he brought a lot of um flair and a, a, a little fun to the, to the working situation. Yes, yes. Well, you know, Swabe now was more business mm-hmm. like. So that that was it with the with with, with the, that part of the early early development. We had to institute changes with the cardex situation and stock control and the stock position. We we had to gradually make it easier 
mm -hmm. for yourself. So now your third, are you ready for your third question? Yes, man, go ahead. What were your biggest challenges? Oh, boy, that's, let me tell you something. We had to ensure that all appropriate safety regulations were being followed. Yes. Both regards to personal safety and safety of the inventory. Yes, yes. And this was, was this was in the confines of the warehouse because... In, in the yes. confines of the warehouse. Yes, because safety was a big deal. Exactly. Terrible. We could have we could have parts sticking out or hanging out. Heavy parts are stored at the bottom. Um, like similar and like parts are stored together. And at the same Very time, now we had to differentiate a lot of the bins in order That's to have right. ease of access. Yeah. That's right. And if you remember carefully, there was a slight accident in the warehouse on one occasion, mm -hmm. which um a slight fire was um started some repairs were taking place and it, it came down yeah and you know but we we, we we blew it out with because we had a lot of fire bomb fire extinguishers around the warehouse the yes. yeah. the warehouse. that was a part of the safe, the safety standard yes which yeah which was um that was a must you know the guys would come and test it probably every week make sure that 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 they were, were were working well it comes right back to what defensive mechanism used or was used at the time well we we as i said we had to be very very creative at that time because we didn't have the the fluctuations of things like kaizen and and, and that sort of thing Mm -hmm. At that time. At that time, yes, yes. So Kaizen, Kai, to, yeah, Kaizen was new Kaizen to us. Came, yeah, came yeah, Kaizen was, was new to us. But Ka Kaizen was introduced to us in the early 2000s. Yeah, exactly. Yes. At the end of the nineties, going into two thousand. Yes. If my memory serves me right, mm -hmm. you know, and um, that was that was one of the defensive mechanism that um we 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 had to resort to. Oh, oh. Uh, if you remember, like for on a weekend, you would have probably 12 or 13 containers. Yes. That And they were not small containers, like yes. a 20 foot, they were yes. 40 foot. Yes. I mean, yeah, I mentioned that yes. in, 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 in a podcast I just posted that one of the, mm -hmm. one of the joy of working inside the warehouse were emptying the 40 foot and 60 foot containers. Yes. It will take us, it will take us the, the entire day and we had to have the, the manpower. Yeah, we had to, yeah, we had to, in other words, we only could do it on a weekend. Yes. Because doing it in the week would infringe on the staff one way or the other because mm -hmm. you need people on the front counter. On the, uh, yes, on the counter, and, yes. And to resort back to that, no. Yeah, so we had to do it on the weekend. And um, that was... Indeed, a, 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 a learning experience for a lot of youngsters. And um, I mean, we, we did it in such a way that it became like a relaxed situation. Yeah. You know, you could actually enjoy doing the work. Yeah, of course. That of course, that, the, that was a type of environment we had set. And because everything was done manually, we had to use manpower, you remember the rope on the chain and the forklift to pull it out. Indeed, indeed, and then we had indeed. to use the strength of the arms to lift the yes. boxes down. And then yes. we have to pull open the boxes, take exactly. out each part individual, individual exactly. part, check it against the exactly. invoices that were there, mark it off, right? Exactly. And then we give that slip to the inventory controller and I would input that part manually into the system for sale. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, you know, um, that is how that is how we had to do it. 